and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Julia and today mm -hmm, I'm going to show you guys how to make a delicious mashed potato, loaded mashed potato pie bites. Um, <laughs> it is absolutely delicious. I saw a picture on Pinterest. It has been there forever. Kind of like two pie crust put on top of each other and inside there is, I think it's a spinach filling, I didn't click on the link or anything like that, I just saw the picture and then it was kind of cut all the way around, there was a bowl in the middle and then all those pieces were kind of flipped 90 degrees, yeah so you can kind of see the filling on the top and then the pie crust would be on the sides and then the bowl was removed and it was baked in the oven so it was crispy and then you kind of pull it off and take kind of like a snack bite off mm. With that, um, I just thought I would take that idea into mine here. So I'm kind of doing the same thing, but with a mashed potato bacon mix, and then bake in the oven, take it out, add on some cheese, place back in, and then serve some bacon, sour cream, and some chives on the top, kind of like some loaded bacon mashed potatoes in the pie crust. It is so good, guys. So let's get started because I have talked enough now. First up, I have to make my mashed potatoes. I just boiled a bunch of potatoes here and they are ready. I just peeled them and boiled them until they were nice and soft in the middle when I stuck a knife in one of them. And now what I do is just add in loads of butter. <laughs> I love to add butter in my mashed potatoes. Splash of milk, some salt, some pepper and just really, really get it mashed well together. I have also fried some bacon on the side until it was nice and crispy and half of that I'm going to add into my mashed potatoes and just really Mix it around and then I'm just going to let my cool <laughs> then I'm just going to let my mashed potatoes cool down completely so it doesn't melt my pre-made pie crust. I already have a pie crust on a baking sheet with a party paper on. What I do is just add some of my mashed potatoes in the middle. all the way around in a circle. And then shape it a bit. Then another pie crust is just about to be added on the top. Just kind of shave it in, close the edges. But before you do that, I'm at a bowl in the middle. Don't press down, just kind of lay it loosely. Or maybe just press a little bit. Yeah, press down. Mm -hmm. Close all the edges. Really closing that mashed potato in there. They roll up. Thank you. 
make sure that the edges are closed before you flip them 90 degrees. Take one up, flip it, push it down. Brush with some lightly whisked egg. My oven is already at 160 degrees C convection oven or about 320. 20 degrees Fahrenheit condition. This potato pie bite thing is ready to bake in the oven for about 14 minutes. After that, I'm just going to take it out and add some cheddar cheese, kind of like some lump of straight cheddar cheese on them all. I'm not just going to kind of it all over because I really want people to see the shapes where they are going to pull. So when I've done that, it's ready to bake in the oven again just for about two to three minutes until the cheese is nice and melted. After that, it is ready to be served with some sour cream on the top, some chives and some bacon. But just let it cool down a little bit before it is quite hot to pull if you're going to pull it right away, so just let it cool down for about 10 minutes or so. I am so ready to try this. Whoopsie. Mm, mm, mm. That is a really nice way to serve some loaded mashed potatoes because you can kind of hold on the pie crust without getting um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, looking for a word without getting messy mess on your fingers that was so yeah give it a go guys mm. all I need for this is down below don't forget to subscribe here I hope to see you guys again soon for my next video bye mm.